So in the smeltery, what's the uh, that long blue line? Long blue line? Yeah, the one that goes all the way across. Let me look. Oh, that's just telling you it's half full. Oh, okay, that's the half full mark. Got it. I was hoping that wasn't the don't go past this line mark. Oh, nope. You can't actually overfill a smeltery. It's not going to... If you uh, have too much stuff in it, it'll just stop smelting. Ah. It's a fairly safe machine. Good. The only danger is if you try to overfill the lava tank, uh -huh. it'll place the lava instead of putting it in the tank. Uh. And, uh, well, I'm sure you know why that's not a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't affect the machine at all. It just uh, burned you. Yep. Lava, oh, uh, lava all over the place. Sounds exciting. Is it better to make an iron hammer or repair an iron hammer? Um, I think it's just better to make one. Okay. Because it, it'll cost you experience to repair a, an iron hammer because it's not a tinker's tool. You really want an iron fist. Yep. I started watching that. I think I'm on episode 7 or 8 right now. I'm on 2. I just finished 2. I am on nine or ten. I've been busy with making videos and trying to keep up with certain anime. Like uh, I sent uh, Maude a message. H type anime? No. Uh, <laughs> so uh, My Hero Academia hit uh, Crunchyroll because. They're going to have season two in a couple weeks starting, and that was a great show. I want to watch it. Over, I want to watch it again. I don't have uh, Crunchyroll. Uh, so. The season one is on their free free version with ads. I did not even know Crunchyroll had a free version. Yep. In oh fact, yeah. Crunchyroll. A lot of their stuff is free. Usually the uh, like certain series and but mostly like. The first week it's out, it'll be paid only. But after that, a lot of them go free with ads. Yep. The only one that I've seen that has been you have to pay no matter what is Naruto. Yeah, the that was season. one. Uh, in fact, I think like Dragon Ball Super is uh, even the new episodes are free with ads. So it really depends on what series you're looking for. But what they did for uh, My Hero Academia is they made the whole first season free. Oh, don't lag on me now. Thank you. Uh, they, they made the whole first season free so that we can get caught up for season two, which I would imagine is going to go with the, uh, you know, the latest week's episode isn't free, but everything else probably will be. Don't quote me on that, but... I imagine that's what they'll do. And I believe getting caught up on, uh, it's like, I've watched my hero academia already. I just want to rewatch it before season two. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with Attack on Titan. Right, because they, they put out for uh, the new season of that, too. Yep. And it's also on Crunchyroll. No, I'm not not sponsored by them yet. Please sponsor me Crunchyroll. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of the uh, Rick and uh, Morty episode. Everybody, there's a Nintendo. Da, 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 Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo, send me free stuff. Yep. Sadly, I don't think I my videos are in Crunchy Crunchy Rolls wheelhouse. I don't make anime videos. I've seen P Crunchy Roll sponsor people who definitely did not have anything to do with anime. Oh, neat. Yeah, I mean, if you were big enough, sure. And if I bet if Just you played an anime based video games, they definitely would. To be fair, I did. I do have a. Uh... Tales of Hysteria and uh, Berseria, so that'd count. Honey Pop Studio doesn't count. 
Tales of series, and I'm actually going to be doing uh, some uh, Persona 5 in a couple weeks, because that comes out uh, beginning of April. Sweet. Bread, grass, bread. However, I don't think I'll be doing the entire game, because people have limited attention spans. But I think a good section of at least the beginning so people can get a good feel for the game. I think that's what, what I'm going to be start focusing on. Unless I have a special project I want to do or uh, or the, the series gets really, really popular, so... I will follow with what is in demand on my channel. But of course my choices are, hey, is this fun for me? Okay, yep, all right, let's uh, see how popular it is. Is it popular? Yes, continue. If not, okay, and then we'll just move on to something else, and I'll play that game on my own time. It's a way to do it. Yep. Getting it all figured out. been enjoying Mass Effect. But I'm not, very, I'm not very far at all because most of the time, probably I, I dare say I've played more time playing uh, multiplayer than, than the uh, main campaign. I was going to say that's literally the first good thing I've heard about the new Mass Effect. However, what? hearing that you said you played mostly the multiplayer, that explains it. <laughs> no, because... Everything I've read says once you get past the first two planets, the game improves greatly, and I'm still on the on the second planet. So my opinion of the single player should go up drastically as I progress. Uh, well, good luck. I'll I'll eventually try it out, but I already know I I'm one of those people I will have a problem with the animation because I well, I because mean, that's, that's what you do. Yes, yeah, what I do. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of comments on, in a lot of directions on the animation. Yeah. Um, there is, of course, the argument of keep in mind how large the game world is. And That's not an excuse. It's yeah. quantity versus quality. They're, they're saying there's too much animations, we can't check everything manually. Yeah, I've heard that one too. So they can't check the dialogue for our, basically every character in the game, or I, even one of them? I swear... In, in one of the... I, I was watching a review for it, and they weren't even talking about the animation at the time, but they were in a cutscene talking to an Asari, and I swear she had a lazy eye. <laughs> like, no joke. She had... <laughs> yeah. We want over there. I mean, if that was their intention on giving her a lazy eye, I'm all for that. Character building. But if not... No, it was definitely broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain that's not a thing. Right. I am too. But if they were, if something came up about, hey, this character actually does have a lazy eye, I'd be perfectly fine with that then. They're just going to patch that in as an explanation. Yep. There's a galaxy-wide plague that's affecting just one eye of everyone. <laughs> of literally everyone. Yep. Sounds legit. Now, that wouldn't explain the crab walk I've been hearing about. But that's a different story. <laughs> I have not heard about any crab walk. <laughs> I have definitely heard about the crab walk. All right, you do not have any sand. Why do you not have sand? You do not have enough power. Because nothing has power. Because you broke it. No, it looks like they had generated enough coal. Wow, Seth. <laughs> A little so, angry over there. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, the bug in my face, sorry. Potty mouth. <laughs> We could go back to normal talk. 
spread, Gar grass spread. What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. By the way, I don't know if I said it, Seth, but when uh, you're ready to start working on the farm, I have some, um, whatchamacallit, uh, of the fertilized dirt. That's poopy. Yep. And I'm giving you my poopy. Because I'm your friend, and and it means a lot to you, I know. Yep. It'll mean a lot to everybody when uh, we can eat stuff that grows out of said poop. It's the circle of life. Yeah. Yep, there we go. This will, this should get things running. It takes a bit longer to burn, but it should give, give us more power. I made up some coal blocks, put them in the furnace, so... It doesn't work with the the uh, our perpetual, but it should give us a nice kickstart. We can put a crafter together that does that for us. I guess we need power. Yep. I mean, technically, we, we need could... power. My machine. No, just like think it into existence, man. Yeah, we don't have a crafter that I can find that does it without power. <laughs> All right, things are working again, so... Come on, grass, grow already. Batania doesn't work without grass. Batania for the entire thing is kind of like watching grass grow. <laughs> <coughs> you have some grass blocks. Yeah, I put some grass seeds on and it spread once so far. <laughs> Yeah, well, you said you're watching grass grow. <laughs> um. I don't know what to tell you beyond that. <laughs> what I could do... And now I sift dust, right? Yes, in the, uh... Let me double check which one you need to sift Stream it in. mesh, flint mesh, blank mesh... Iron mesh. You need iron stiffened or diamond stiffened to get redstone, so use the iron one down so, there. The only one we have is the one iron, right? Yeah. So just use that one. <coughs> so I just hit a button that changed my excavate shape. Do the what now? Press Z. Z does nothing for me. Excavate shape is what I is is what it did. Huh. One time, one by one, three by three, five by five, none. Uh, do you have a tool in your hand? I have leaves in my hand. Uh, yeah, it's not doing anything for me. Nope, not for me. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. On that space. What do you break now? <laughs> Didn't break anything, I just have too much stuff in my inventory. Let's do... Kind of like breaking something. Let's do <coughs> Shape, toggle, edit, control, right man. According to my... Yeah, it's not doing anything for me no matter what I try. So, you're on your own with the excavate mode. Good luck. I just don't know what it does. Alright, sieves are getting good power. Is the auto hammers that are having trouble keeping up with power. Do we need blaze powder? Um, I'm sure we will. Okay, well, I'm going to put it in here. Now, gold ore, nickel ore, and iron ore, I want to put in the smelter, right? Uh, yeah, well, you'll want to combine them into chunks and then smelt them. <coughs> or oh, just put right. them in a chest for now. <coughs> what am yeah, I doing? Chest they go because I don't know what to do with them. Where did that put my wood? Yeah. Is that we already have? That's Whatever. What said. Can I not make abs out of mineral? I hate this. <laughs> Uh, 
seriously can't make slabs out of it. Oh, and I don't need slabs for the recipe I'm making anyway. Okay. Excuse me while I make a macro that just right clicks. <laughs> That's what my machines are for. I may actually have a macro on my uh, keyboard that holds down the right mouse button for me. Hey, how much um, redstone do you need, Rav? I've got one. I need, let's see, four. I need four more right now. Well, you need three more when you get the one that I've got. All right. I'll come down because I'm not doing much right now. I'm kind of waiting for my machine to work. Actually, I really need to figure out a way to make a macro so I can eat and let this just automatically do it. Tired of just holding down the right mouse button? I know, it's super sad, but the thing is, is that if I'm holding the right mouse button, then I'm actually holding the right mouse button. If I set up a thing that I can click, it'll automatically turn the right mouse button on, and then I don't have to worry about it. Well, and, there uh, is a way to speed this up. Let's see. It said, uh, oh, stiffened iron sieve mesh. I have, I have a solution for you, so hold on a second. It's not as good a solution as you'd probably be hoping, but. Too much garbage in my inventory. It's probably going to need to be an actual macro. <laughs> well, I'm about right to. Uh, I'm about to double your efficiency. There. Do it now. Do it again now. Oh, man. That does not work. So finish that one and now check out. I have doubled your efficiency. I have two redstone. You want me to put them in the chest so you have it? Well, actually, I'll hold on to it so I can know when I hit four because I need to hit... Uh, Something for me. All right. And then what I'll do is let's move this. So let's see here. I need four for you, and I think I need two for me. And then, uh, how many do I need for that transfer pipe to go to that uh, obsidian box? Um, but that's not a transfer pipe. That's something different, right? That'll still be a transfer pipe. It's just that the node will be items instead of the node being fluids. Oh, so then I need three redstone. Because I need the one pipe coming out of the bottom that'll go to the chest, and then I need the two because of where the cauldron's at to move it over and get it into the uh, thing. Yes. Although technically, couldn't... Hmm. Couldn't I move that first cauldron over and then take one pipe can i take one maybe i can't do that so we've got the thing that's going from the cobblestone generator into that cauldron that's on fire uh -huh. and then that i have to take a pipe out now can i take a pipe from the same like top area or do you have to take a pipe like out of the side and around or something um you'll need a sorry so you're yeah you can't put a pipe coming out of the same place it's going in Okay, so it has to be a different location coming out. Yep. It doesn't have to be on the bottom, right? Just on the side would be fine for the liquid? Uh, I believe so, yes. Hang yeah. on, my cat's causing problems. <coughs> Good guy fixes that. Let's see. Well, there you go. You're welcome, Rav. We're done. 
Yay. But I've got a bunch of dust, so I'm gonna sift it. So they'll do that. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to make this uh, manual sieve station. There, uh, there's your port. Thank you. Yeah, I can do the, the manual sieve station. Oh. Turns out that uh, my uh, auto sieve uh, made quite a few too, so. Oh, redstone? Yep. So I can basically take this dust and put it in the thing and then he'll do it for us? Uh, the, it's already happening. It's just, uh, it's slow because of the lack of power. So that's what I'm doing is I'm making, uh... Or generators? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, there it is. Go right here. Whoop. Now I need more burnables. <clears throat> By the way, how many transfer pipes do you need? Let's see here. <coughs> Knowing that I can't actually go off that pipe, I'm going to need one, two, three, four. I'm going to need four. Well, you're about to... Uh, except for the fact that it makes like eight per craft, I would say you only need four, but... Sorry about that. I'm back. Yep, not a problem. You laid the snack down? It makes 16. Oh, Wait, it makes eight transfer pipes per craft? Sixteen, actually. <coughs> yeah, it makes a bunch. Uh, That's what... Uh, my math gets wrong that way, too. Well, I'm helping us for future projects, so it's uh, normal. It's okay. All right, so did you, well, I mean, did you need another... It's red... helpful to have around. You need another redstone? I have one. I have two. Uh, I've got six on me. Actually, what I want is I need to get some of this glowstone that I'm taking out, and I need to make some uh, redstone lamps so that we can make an on-off switch for the monster farm. Oh, so we yeah. can, like, turn it off and be like, okay, good, it's off, we don't need it, instead of being like, okay, venture inside and hope you don't die. <laughs> I needed right. that. So how is our power doing? Oh, I'm seeing red bars. Happy, happy red bars. Now, oh, good. rain does not wash away redstone, right? Not right. in this game? That is correct. I didn't, know, I didn't know if something was weird with redstone in this way. Is there a better way to wire things? Is there like a new thing called wire or something? Um, I don't know if there is in this one. I know there's insulated redstone conduits, but... <coughs> Maybe that allows it to, the water to not break it? Oh, it's not called insulated, it's just redstone conduit. Ah. Um, that backup's too slow, by the way. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you might be able to make redstone conduits. But they they work like the uh, the energy conduits that Rav's using, but it transfers a redstone signal instead. But if you're doing something simple, just using regular redstone's probably not a problem. Okay, so like crushed black quartz and blaze powder, that's whatever. But like iron ore pieces, I take them, make blocks, and then I smelt them? Yes. Same with gold, nickel, and lead? Uh, yep. I mean, you don't have to smelt them right away, but... Should I, or should I leave them down here in case we need them in pieces? Um, I don't think we'll ever need them in piece form. Now, there's certain things that I want to be careful to put in there because they make alloys, right? Right. So if I do lead, nickel, and gold, do I need to worry about those? Um, well, you can look up the uses in, in JEI by uh, typing in the name and then finding the liquid form and hitting U. And if alloying comes up at the top, 
It'll tell you which things will make alloys. Alright, so next, you said uh, lava generator. Yes, lava generator will allow you to make energy out of lava. Basically what we would end up doing is making another one of these crucibles on top of a block of lava uh -huh. and having that pump into the generator. Right, and then I would take the, the wires and then feed it into the machinery because I don't want to have it... I don't want to have a lava generator over where it's flammable, so... Well, the generator is fine. It's just that you don't want the lava that's creating, or that's powering the crucible to be. Right. The wood, yeah. But I figure, you know, making the generator around the crucible would probably be easier than just do energy conduit. That'd probably be yeah. the easiest way. So, looking it up, I need electrum, copper, and the machine frame. Machine frame's pretty easy, it looks like. So, the tricky part is the electrum. And to make an electrum ingot, you need nuggets, essence, block of electrum, or let's see, that's smelting, casting, furnace, no, alloy smelter, there we go, silver and gold. I figured it out. All right. Congratulations. Gold, let's see, I do need copper. All right, so. Silver and gold. We have plenty of gold ore nuggets, and here's some silver. Meanwhile, our my generator is making the redstone I need, so I need four electron plates, which means four ingots, which means four of each of those, so two nuggets each. Now, if I put it into our uh, smelter, will it combine them automatically? Uh, because yeah, it... actually. It will alloy them together there, or you can use the alloy smelter, the electric one. Either way, right. it works. All right. And they will not alloy with iron, correct? I believe that's correct. Because... Think iron only alloys with nickel. Oh, it alloys with redstone, ender pearls, purple slime, seared stone, emerald blood. Oh, not even nickel in this pack. Interesting. Right, well, How do I safely break your basic drawer, and do you have to relock it once I do? Um, you have to use a chest transporter to move it. If you break it, it's going to just explode all the items everywhere. There's no items in it. Oh, then just break it with an axe. So I need one copper chunk as well. Copper. But if you use an iron chest transporter, that works? Yep. And copper does not smelt with silver or gold? Uh, copper smelts with nickel, tin, and aluminum, and zinc. So no. All right. Let's see, uses the bottom to smelt, so... Boop. Well, it'll mix anything that you put in there together, if it... Yeah, if it can. Whether it's on the bottom or not. Well, the, the mixing is done. I was waiting for... I needed to put it on the bottom so I can put them into ingots. Well, at least I have a ton of transfer pipes now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was lagging out for a second. Ah. Uh, right now we can put in copper. Meanwhile, I can do. Okay, somehow I made twice as many, which is weird because I already thought I had. Oh, it's because of that. Okay. I forgot that. Yeah. Can you check this to make sure it's working all right? I don't think it is. Let's see what you got going on here. 
Oh, you need a transfer node here to get the like a fluid transfer node right here. Yeah, you need a transfer node on both of these. The node is what pulls things out of things. See how there's an item transfer node here? 